On Christmas Eve, 1941, most people would have been gathering together with their families, wrapping presents, or enjoying a dinner. Not so for 19-year-old Joanne Johnson, who instead was called to London by the Foreign Office for an interview. I met a very off-putting woman named Miss Moore who asked me all sort of questions, recalls Jocelyn, now 95 and living in Essex. After a very short interview, Moore stuffed some paper into Jocelyn's hand. It was a warrant to travel to a town called the Letchley. She told me, you must go home and pack your case and leave at once. Don't tell anyone where you're going and why. Lutzy Park was a British country house that became an important center of Allied code-breaking during the Second World War. This top secret process was how people were selected to work at Belletchley, as their work involved cracking foreign military codes. The code-breaking work at Belletchley is thought to have shortened the war by three years. By the end of the war, three quarters of the workforce were made of women. Using various ways of communication, Leslie Park and its female codebreakers helped win World War II as they used different technologies to decode messages and later put a base to modern computers. Throughout the war, many technologies were developed by both the Allies and the Axis powers to communicate among themselves through mainly transmitting coded messages. The Enigma machine is a famous inscription machine used by Germans during World War II to pass on coded messages. An Enigma machine allows for billions and billions of ways to encode a message, making it incredibly difficult for other nations to crack German codes during the war. And for a time, the code seemed unbreakable. The total number of ways in which the Enigma machine can be configured for any particular message is 150 million, meaning it has an enormous complexity, which was why the Germans thought it was completely safe. The routers contained one of the central secrets of the Enigma machine, which was the cross wiring inside the wheels. The whole of this maze of wiring inside changed every time a letter was entered, and that's what gave the Enigma machine its vast complexity. Once the machine was set up, the message was encoded letter by letter. These letters were then sent by Morse code to the receiver on the other end. The Germans were never shaken in their belief in Enigma's invincibility. At first, all the codebreakers had were meaningless groups of coded letters and endless patience. And in the first month of the war, the new recruits were getting nowhere. However, in 1940, Alan Turing, a mathematician and computer scientist working at Belletchley Park, along with other female researchers, exploited a few weaknesses in the implementation of the Enigma machine and gained access to German codebooks. This allowed them to design another machine called the Bomb, which helped crack the most challenging versions of Enigma. The cracking of Enigma was an important victory by the Allied powers during World War II. Using information that the codebreakers decoded from the Germans, the Allies were able to win many operations on land, at sea, and in the air. The Lechley Park was able to read huge numbers of enemy Air Force messages, as well as breaking German, Italian, and Japanese naval codes. Throughout the Battle of the Atlantic, they helped track the U-boat Wolf Pack, considerably reducing the German Navy's ability to sink the merchant Navy ships, bringing supplies to Britain from the United States. On land, the codebreakers also made a crucial contribution to D-Day. The ability to read Japanese diplomatic and military attack ciphers provided military commanders with full details of the German defenses in Normandy. General Dwight D. Eisenhower, who is Supreme Allied Commander of Allied Forces, wrote, The intelligence which has emanated from you before and during the campaign has been of priceless value to me. It has simplified my task as a commander enormously. It has saved thousands of British and American lives. Another technology invented and used at Bletchley was the Colossus. 
The Colossus was a set of computers developed by British codebreakers in the years 1943 to 1945. It was used to help in the cryptanalysis of the Lorentz cipher, another harder and more complicated German military transmission. Using the Colossus, Bletchley Park descripted many communications between the German High Command in Berlin and their army commands throughout occupied Europe some of which were signed by Adolf Hitler. The Colossus was the world's first programmable electronic and digital computer. Work at Bletchley Park was done around the clock in eight-hour shifts. Codes could come in at any time as service operators stationed around the country listened out for German messages. When a message got to Bletchley Park, it was sent to the relevant section. For example, all German naval messages were sent to the naval section. All German Air Force messages were sent to the air section, etc. Then the messages were translated to English. Even when descripted and translated, most intercepted messages did not make immediate sense. The message contained acronyms and abbreviations and often referred to information contained in other messages or already known by their existence. All of the information in each message was carefully collected and recorded on index cards. These cards build up into a vast catalog of enemy units, places, individuals, new items of equipment, and other significant details. This allowed the codebreakers to understand the full implication of a message and build up a wider picture of enemy's activity. While the work at Blushley Park required great efforts, the people who worked there were not always immediately successful. Sometimes it took hundreds of tries and research to decode a message, and the codebreakers never gave up. They saved countless lives through getting information given on where the Axis powers would attack and what they're planning, and so much more. But even as the war in Europe ended, the Leslie Park carried on working deciphering Japanese codes as well as monitoring German communications to confirm that Nazi forces were surrendering and that there would be no attempt to mount a last stand. When the war in Europe ended in May 1945, the codebreakers vowed to never speak of their work at Bletchley Park, making its history in the shadows for many years. As new technologies never seen before were advancing during World War II, the world was impacted greatly. Along with new weapons developed, new communication ways were discovered as well. There is no doubt that a lot of soldiers and commanders put their lives into the war, but there were also heroes behind the scenes working every day at Bletchley Park and other coding centers. In addition, during the times of World War II, women's roles were very different. But at Bletchley Park, it gave them an opportunity to succeed. Women became equal to men in fields such as mathematics or computer programming. In conclusion, wars are not only won through weapons and violence. Sometimes, it takes communication and a secret coding agency to do the job.